Here we go. Action in three, two. As it's the 25th anniversary of Home Alone, mm -hmm. we've decided to do a Home Alone themed taste test. Macaroni and cheese. Cheese pizza and some Sunday action at the end. So without further ado, let's get cooking. Let's do this. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. That's actually very good. Not bad at all. A little dry. Yeah, it could have been our, our cooking skills as well. Well, no. <laughs> they didn't skip on the cheese, which is good. Although the cheeses aren't very strong and pronounced. Kevin McAllister friendly. Mm-hmm. Keep the cheese, you filthy animal. I'd probably give this a 3.5 Screaming Kevins out of five. You know, I'm with you on that one. I'm going to say 3.5 Screaming Kevins out of five. You're only supposed to take one bite. <laughs> Oh yeah, I missed both. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> well, the crust is softer than our five cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. And while it's saucier, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the sauce. The sauce has a tang to it. <laughs> I give it two Screaming Kevins, which I think is very generous. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say 1.5 screaming Kevin's. Billsbury, you're what the French call les incompetents. Cheers! Mmm. Mm. The cheese is a lot more present. Yes. Again, a little dry on the sauce. Maybe I just, I'm a saucy guy. The crust has actually got a nice crunch. Mm hmm. For a store bought pizza? Not bad. Not bad. I would almost take the President's Choice sauce over the Amy sauce. Mmm. I don't know about you, I'm almost thinking still only 3.5 Screaming Kevin's for that one. I don't want to bump it up to 4. No, I'm going to give it a 3.8. Ooh, okay, but yeah. in between the 0.5. The then again, it was also twice the price. Exactly. And was it worth that? Mmm. In my opinion, no. But our ratings have spoken. The Amy's Pizza has won by a margin of 0.3. <laughs> Screaming Kevin. Unless you average our two scores. <laughs> right, then it's even less. All right, on to phase two. Mac and cheese. Plus, Plus this highly nutritious, nutritious microwavable macaroni and cheese, cheese dinner, dinner and, and that people sold, sold it on sale. <laughs> Let's start with the um, chilies. Alright, Because I have a bad chilies. feeling about okay, this. Okay, let's start with it. Oh. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Mm. Oh, that is a special kind of interesting. I need a sip of milk after that. It's kind of like if it was plastic? Plastic would have a similar <laughs> consistency and texture. I give this 2.25. It's okay, um, but I honestly think if I ate a whole bowl of this, I would probably feel sick. Okay, I'm gonna give it 2.8. I feel like the taste underneath that texture is decent. It's just not the best sauce. Alright, we're gonna save Amy's till last. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We cooked this first, so it's been sitting here for a long time. Mm hmm So not including that as a factor, pretending it's hot. A good batch of KD. You can't go wrong. Mm, sort of a science blending the milk with the uh, butter. And you gotta eat it hot. This is consistent KD. It's a strong player. Yeah. 2.5 right up the middle. 2.5 rocking around the Christmas tree parties. I gave this guy a 2.8. So I'm gonna give KD a solid 3.5. One quick zip of oh, palate oh cleanser. My. Let's do this. Palate cleanser. Because this is a, this is a horse of a different color here. Mm -hmm. You hold it. Cheers. <laughs> it's a noodle texture. They're a little bready. I want to say they taste like whole wheat noodles. Yeah. Whole wheat noodles. <laughs> Look what you did, you little jerk! I'm gonna give it a uh, a good solid 2.25 out of 5. Really? Um, You're tying it with chilies? You got that right. My rating is 1.5. Whoa. I believe that's the lowest score we've seen today. I do believe so. Looks like the winner is, drumroll please. Good old Crash dinner. Game. This is less of a taste test and more of a smorgasbord of, of things that we hope will taste delicious. Because he stayed at the Plaza Hotel in New York and raided the minibar, we're kind of yeah, that was the second amalgamating the minibar 
and the ice cream plaza sundae because in the plaza nowadays he would have gotten these little babies. Right. does. Here we have chocolate peanut butter, strawberry, and chocolate chocolate chunk. We are ready to try this sundae. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Oh my god. Peanut butter was so good. Kawartha dairy ice cream for the win. Marshmallows, a solid addition. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Guys, I'm eating junk and watching, watching rubbish. Better come down and stop me. Oh my gosh. I just tasted peanut butter. <laughs> Woo. I'm gonna give this five knocks on the head by the creepy next door neighbor. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna give it a 4.9 okay. because nothing can be perfect in this world, mm. unfortunately. That's probably this true. This is pretty darn close. So this is Ben, Julia and Ben's Home Alone taste test. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed it and that it inspired you to have your own Home Alone party. Happy 25th anniversary to Home Alone. Ah!